started with not long ago. And this is it. This is the new iPod. It is dramatically thinner at 0.62 inches and dramatically lighter at only 5.6 ounces. Now, how thin and light is that? That is lighter than the weight of two CDs in their jewel cases for 7,500 songs versus 20 songs on the CDs. And it is thinner than those exact same two CDs. Yeah, it's wow. <laughs> so, thinner and lighter. Now, in addition, the no moving parts scroll wheel was so successful that we've made all the controls touch no moving parts. And we have a much better screen now, much higher contrast ratio screen on the iPod. In addition to that, it has an incredibly nice backlight, which lights up the buttons as well. So, the new iPod. Let's take a look at the top of it. We've got our headphone jack and the hold switch, but no firewire connector. We put it on the bottom. There's the firewire connector, and there's a cable that plugs right into it, but the iPod also drops into a dock. This has been one of the most requested features we've had. And so you can just drop your iPod in your dock and automatically connect to your computer so that you can sync, charge, and go even faster and more conveniently. It's really, really nice. Now, just like cell phones and other devices, that connector that plugs into your iPod is the same connector that plugs into the dock, but look at what we've added on the dock. Line out. Another thing that has been heavily requested. People want to hook their iPods up to their stereos conveniently. There's a line out on the dock. You can even buy an accessory dock if you want, a second dock, and put it right by your stereo. So you plug your iPod right in, it charges, and hooks up right to your stereo. We think this is going to be a strong feature. Now, iPods have always supported FireWire. With these new iPods, we're adding USB 2 for our Windows customers. Uh, we got the hardware done, but the software is not quite done. There's a lot more testing to do on Windows. It's a little less predictable. And uh, <laughs> so we're going to have a software update in June, but the hardware is completely done. There's a cable that goes, that connects into the iPod or the dock on one end and FireWire on the other, and that's included with every iPod, since most customers we think are going to continue to use FireWire. But for those that want to use USB, we have a cable with two plugs. Why is this? Because USB 2 doesn't have enough power to power most things, including the iPod. So it can't charge from USB 2. We have to ship a connector, a cable with a connector for USB 2 to go into your computer and another connector for FireWire to go into the charger. And for those customers that want it, that'll be $19 accessory cable because we don't want to burden all the FireWire customers with an extra cable. The new iPods, like their predecessors, support Mac and Windows, but for the first time we're combining the models into one box. So you can't get the wrong box. Mac and Windows in one box. So that's the hardware. What about the software? Well, of course we have AutoSync. It's the one and only. And because we have a ton of patents pending, we think it will stay the one and only. Uh, and this is great. You just plug your iPod into your computer and your entire music library is automatically synchronized with your iPod. No one else does that. In addition, we're adding some new features. The first, heavily requested, AAC decoding. AAC is a new, code, a new audio codec invented by Dolby. It's the best one in the industry, and the iPod will now play AAC. Another big feature that was requested was on-the-go playlist. This is a playlist where you can actually build it right on your iPod. And personalizing the main menu. We're going to show you how to personalize the main menu so you can take the things you use the most and put them right up in the main menu. An alarm clock, which will either give you a beep or will play your favorite playlist. And two more new games, Solitaire and Parachute. Maybe the most important new feature of all. So let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff. All right. Here's my iPod. And uh, the first thing I want to do is if we go into playlists, right at the bottom, you see the on-the-go playlist. And if you go in there, what you'll see at first are some directions about how to set it up. So let's go back and uh, let's, go to, uh, let's go into Browse and let's go into uh, Artists. And I'll go into uh, Bob Dylan, who I love. And uh, we'll go into uh, Blood on the Tracks. And uh, we'll pick Simple Twist of Fate. And I just hold my finger down on this song. And you see it flash? That just added it to the uh, on-the-go playlist. And uh, maybe I'll add, uh, if you see her say hello, just by holding my finger down again. And maybe I'll go back 
and find another artist here, uh, maybe uh, Counting Crows here, and uh, Hard Candy. I want the whole album, so I'm just going to hold my finger down on the album, and it flashes, and I've added the whole album. And if I go back up to the top and look in playlists, and I look in my on-the-go playlist, you'll see Simple Twist of Fate, If You See Her Say Hello, and the entire album that I just added. Pretty simple. Now, let me show you another really cool feature. I'm going to go into settings, and we've added a new setting right under About called Main Menu. We put it right at the top because we think it's going to be very popular. And you go into Main Menu, and it has all the key things with on or off toggles. So playlists I'm going to leave on, but browse, I don't, I don't like to go to a second level to get artists. So I'm going to turn on artists, and I'm going to turn on songs. And uh, I don't want extras. All I really want is the clock. And uh, that's about it. So now I'm going to go to the top again, and you'll see my menu is playlists, artists, songs, clock, and settings. I can even go in there if I want and turn off playlists. And maybe I'll turn on, uh, maybe I'll turn on albums. And uh, maybe I'll go down and say, you know, I, I really like my contacts, and uh, I really like my games, and I, I know how to use the backlight now with the secret uh, way to turn it on by holding down one of the keys. And so this is my new main menu. Pretty cool. And you can set it up and change it whenever you want. So, the new iPods. They are thinner and lighter. They have a really improved display in them with a great backlight. They have a dock. They have USB 2 if you want it. They feature auto sync and the ability to have an on-the-go playlist and to change